this is a neural impulse actuator NIA or NIA for short this is not very popular actually I haven't seen uh, many people use uh, this a lot or even talk about it so um, I thought I'm going to do a review on this one this is quite old technology well old being maybe two years I don't know exactly uh, let's see if it has a date on it it uh, doesn't look like it just a serial number and uh, warranty thing and that's it it's made by OCC OCC uh, makes this kind of future stuff quite good company and also it includes this and uh, what it basically is is that um, this thing this goes uh, on your forehead these are sensors I'm not even sure uh, what type of sensors but what it does it apparently reads your brain waves <laughs> yes it does uh, read your brain waves it's not a some kind of sci-fi movie this is realistic but it doesn't work so well I have used it for a while actually I've had it for about a year actually so I just never really took it out just haven't uh, used it much but anyway it's still a cool thing I just saw it in my drawer so I took it out and I reconnected it uh, to my computer and started using it again so this is basically a quite nice thing I like the concept and all but it's very hard to use this you have to get used to this it's extremely difficult to get used to this so uh, if you don't really know how to use it then well it's not much use to you so but you can uh, program keys you can uh, map anything on it you can have macros everything which you can't actually uh, do with a keyboard or mouse or anything like that so just basically what it should do is that you think about it and it will do it but unfortunately it's not that simple there are different brain waves. I will show you the interface as soon as I'm going to connect it. But it is quite difficult to control. The most easiest things are tension and uh, I can't even remember what the other one was, but uh, tension is uh, basically if you're like, um, well, under tension. <laughs> so, uh, like if you're pressing your. Um, tongue against the uh, mouth or just uh, pressing teeth together then it will uh, easily react you don't even have to do it uh, real hard it's just a simple thing so if someone is uh, looking at you they won't even notice that you're actually doing anything so I have tried to uh, use uh, this in games but only thing I mapped on it was uh, fire button and it does actually help reaction times improve I'd say by at least 50% maybe even more and what is really good that if you usually uh, hold your hand on the mouse so if you put your hand on the mouse and you're trying to aim at something and shoot look closely my hand if I press the button I don't know how well you can see it but if you press the button then your whole hand actually moves it's very little bit you can't really notice it by eye but on a screen it does make a difference if you're trying to track something move 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 and then shoot then you still move the mouse just before you click the button because of the hand muscles I can actually feel it uh, going up to my uh, elbow even the shoulder if my hand is in air like this so this is like um, inaccurate just this last movement with mouse before clicking the fire but with this you don't have that problem you just point the mouse and you don't have to click anything you just do it with this but uh, enough of the hardware and I will show you the interface it's quite interesting alright this is the neural impulse actuator interface and to start off I will do the scan I just can't talk while it's scanning so you will just have to watch it
and as you can see this line in there it uh, reacts when I torque when I move a little bit that's uh, just tension tension line I'm trying to like sit still not do anything but uh, see it pump right about uh, now see or like this but again I can't talk at the same time sometimes it does pump and I like uh, talk at the same time so anyway I will uh, go into the tutorials and what we have in there is um, uh, this is not the right one uh, no 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 I don't want this I don't want this I haven't used it for a long long time but I think this was the right one so okay it opened it on under screen so I will pull it in here uh, I'm on the left side so I can't talk again if I'm doing that but I will try so let's se check this right that was successful let's try to move it up then and I'm not using keyboard or mouse this is purely the neural impulse actuator I think on my head so uh, it works quite well well <laughs> okay <laughs> I just had to say but what I'm using is the tension as you can see in uh, here the control And what tension does is I just press my tongue just slightly against my uh, mouth and that's it. And again I can't do that while I'm talking so... Oops. I don't know how it actually detects it. Uh, because I'm sure that it's not the tension on the face actually. I don't know how it works, but well, it does work. Because I can't feel my forehead uh, moving at all, absolutely no movement at all. While I talk, then a little bit, actually even more while I'm talking, and less when I do anything else. So it must be some kind of brainwave that is very easy to read. But uh, as you can see, it does work and you can control games with this and it's quite interesting actually so might go into a game but uh, there is nothing to really show how it works in a game this is just the main thing and let's try this S here you can see all of the waves and uh, this glance that was the other one I didn't remember before this reacts to eye movements I will try to uh, make it stand still while I'm talking but well, <laughs> it's not that uh, easy because as I said if you talk you move you think and everything just moves tension is the easiest to control it's quite easy I got used to it within maybe 10 minutes you just uh, adjust the sensitivity and stuff and you can easily use that you can use it in a race game for like acceleration or brake or something I don't know but I find it quite useful as a uh, fire button in shooting games it does uh, improve your reaction time but glance it uh, reacts to eye movements so uh, I'm gonna try to move it but again I can't talk so I'll just try to put the mouse in here and move the mouse up if I'm trying to move it so let's see how it works out And as you can see, well, I can control it in a way, so. But again, I just blinked my eyes. See, it reacts. All I do is blink my eyes and it reacts, so. I don't know <laughs> how, how you're supposed to control this, but that's quite difficult, honestly. Tension again, let's try this.
as you can see I can control tension it's a bit too sensitive but all these alpha and beta waves I honestly don't know how to control them I did make some tests uh, previously when I tried it for the first time and uh, I noticed that the beta 3 reacts to reading or was it beta 2 I can't remember exactly so if I was like trying to read a text and concentrate on a the text then one of these did react a lot more than the others and one of the alpha waves had something to do with uh, noticing things for example if there's an explosion in a game then uh, it's like highly visible you notice it and then one of the alpha waves went all the way up so there is some some uh, similarities but it's still extremely hard to control this but imagine if you can master all the alpha and beta waves that's gonna be just amazing and I absolutely don't know what it's doing right now it's just popping up and down so <laughs> and all I'm doing is just sitting still and just talking so it is quite good in the games but again you have to focus on a game you can't have absolutely any kind of interference you can't talk you can't move your head you can't eat you can't do <laughs> absolutely anything but just focus on a game but yes it does make you play better if you use like even just one button on this so but I don't know for this this kind of thing the price is maybe a bit too high maybe that's why it's not popular maybe that's why people don't use it it's just basically just one button and it costs about hundred dollars something like this I got mine for about 80 euros which is a bit more than hundred dollars I think but that was about a year ago I don't really know how much they cost right now but I do know that for just the tension, I don't think it's worth it. If you if you have the money for that, you should just try it out and see how it works for you. Because it is something extraordinary. And as you can see, this beta 2 wave went all the way up. I don't know why, but... Well, anyway, I don't know. You have to uh, decide if you're going for it or not. This is another screen it ha has in here, so... It actually tells you what uh, what the brain does, as you can see, all of these. So I honestly think that this uh, this thing doesn't read your brain waves correctly, and this is why they are jumping up and down. Because, for example, if I take it off, I'm gonna take it off from my head. My microphone is uh, tangled with the cables <laughs> in that one, so. A bit of a problem taking it off, but right. It is sitting on my sofa right now. As you can see, I'm not touching it. But if I'm like touching the wire like this, then it's already bumping. I think there is a serious problem with the wires. The wire is not isolated and this is what makes it extremely unusable, I'd say. You have to sit still. It's nothing to do with actually the readers, but as you can see, I'm just poking the wire right now. I'm not even touching the headband itself, it's just a wire between the headband is just sitting on my sofa right now and as you can see it's doing that, so that's the problem, but as you can see the tension is usually not moving at all so if they would actually improve it and isolate the wire put the insulation around it like it should have so you can play around with the wire and nothing happens then I think it could be a lot better, so I don't know, I hope they're not going to abandon this idea, I hope someone's going to continue this and they're going to make it really perfect, so we'll see, we'll see, but for now I don't think it's a good idea to just get it for just one button. And there's another thing that I just forgot to mention is that it actually uses a lot of CPU power, so I say that if you have a 12 core then it's not enough. I tried it on my netbook which is 1.5 GHz 12 core and it completely kills it so it does run but it does lag so I'd say that uh, to play games and use this you need a quad core CPU at least so it does use uh, really a lot of CPU power but that's actually normal because it has to uh, it has to convert all these brain waves into the inputs that computer can read so yeah that's actually quite logical but anyway this this is what I think about it that right now it's not ready for the market so maybe that's why it's so so unpopular that's why not many people talk about it that's why it's kinda abandoned and left in the dark so I don't know at least it seems like it 
but again I really really do hope that they're gonna make it a lot better in future and someone's maybe gonna take the project over or I don't know OCC does make really really nice stuff so hopefully they're gonna do something